just popped out to get some shopping and I've noticed there's a vid grenier. Now I'm a little bit late, it's nearly midday. Excuse me, bad hair as well. <laughs> so let's go and have a look. You never know what you're gonna find even when it's late in the day, so. <laughs> Have the best stall. <laughs> well, I may be late, but there's still plenty of stalls here. And I've just bought something. Free thing, so I'm very happy there's a big grin under here. That's a shame they're broke. like that. Now that is made out of nails. Handmade. It's cracking. Trivet. That's very nice. Encaustic tiles. Very nice. that to be inside as well but now it's just outside probably for normal no restriction reasons so yeah it's not too bad I've found a couple of things got me on a few more so let's delve in see what we can find <laughs> now I just got myself a really rare item. Look at this. It's a giant handheld colander. Artisan made. 150 plus years old. Well pleased. Let's go. So if you're intrigued to know what I actually bought and what is in the boot, you'll have to follow me back home and see me on the bench. Well that was a quick little visit, rather uh, unexpected to, to see a boot sale there actually, a vid green. Uh, just round the corner to where I got some shopping, so 
very, very pleased with what I've got. Some real good finds. Just goes to show you, you've got to keep looking. Only popped out for a few bits. It cost me a fortune. Never mind, I've got some really good quality pieces, so I'll be glad to share them with you when I get back. So whilst driving home, I've just pulled over and remembered there's a beautiful little mini chateau um, hidden around here somewhere. Um, I tried to find it before, I caught a glimpse of it. I think I know where it is, so I'm gonna have a slight detour. And uh, yeah, I think it'd be well worth sharing with you. So let's go and try and find that. It's out there somewhere. Now I think it's down one of these small little tracks. see whether it's a chateau or a big manoir. I've got to be a little bit discreet, it's a private dwelling. Oh wow, yeah that's a nice, that's a lovely place. Very grand, in the middle of the countryside. Alright, just going to spin around see if I can get a better view. Oh wow, look at that. Beautiful. Wow. It's got a moat on it. Now that is stunning. Gorgeous, that was a good find. Right, let's spin round before the dogs chase me off. There are so many hidden gems, you just gotta seek them out. So, just behind the bushes, we'll get another glimpse. Wow, what a sight. I'll have to look into the history of that one. That's not far from my house. Beautiful. Right, let's get going. So I'm back home now. Let's see what's in the boot. Oh, here we go. Right, let's get this over to the bench. Let me talk you through it. So, what we have here is a very, very old colander. Strainer. Oops. You know, whatever you want to use it for. Needs a lot of cleaning up. Fantastic hand chased decoration to the handle. All done by hand, hand pierced. Once again, you can see the decoration up there. Now this would date back to early 1800s, mid. So it's in some action. And uh, yeah. I'll get that cleaned up and get that in my Etsy shop. I say that every time, but I never get around to do it. I'm just so busy now, but I must do it. If I step back a little bit, you'll see what I mean. It's beginning to look like step toes yard. <laughs> right, anyway, I must, uh, I must get these polished up and listed and into the shop. Right, on to the next piece. <clears throat> now this is absolutely stunning. Doesn't look it at the moment, but it will clean up really well. Good tin lined interior, really thick gauge. And it is by one of the top makers, Gallard. All hand planished. That is what you'd call a Windsor pan. It's flared, tapered sides. So that's that one. Right, moving along. Now we have a pair of fabulous ships, bulkhead lights. Now, these unscrew, so you can change the fittings inside. They're absolutely stunning quality. Normally anything nautical, those that know about shipping and that, it's always top quality. You know, you don't want these things to fail when you're out at sea, so... I've actually got um, a pair of these, or several of these, in the house, but a different shape, but the same sort of design, so... So yeah, that's the haul today, so it was just an off... Off chance, you know, I just popped out to the shops, got a little bit of shopping, see a sign, followed it, and there you go. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these little, uh, uh, what, what should we call it, um, adventures around the French countryside. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, see you around, don't forget to subscribe, I dare say you have.
Bye for now.